You're listening to KEXP. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters down here in the KEXP studios with Hatchie. Welcome. Hi, thank you. So fun to have you here all the way from Brisbane, Australia. Yeah. And I'm excited to hear these songs live. We've been enjoying them for some time. Um, you've got the EP Sugar and Spice that came out in May. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming you're going to play songs from that. We definitely are, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's Hatchy live on KEXP.
That sounded wonderful. We're listening to Hatchie live on KEXP, playing at Barbosa here in Seattle tonight. Thank you so much for coming in. Welcome. Thank you so much. We're really excited. Well, you have um, seemed to have come out of nowhere. Last summer, we heard a song from you under the name Hatchie. And for many people, that was the first time that we had heard of you. But you've actually been playing in bands for a long time. Tell yeah. me a little bit about how you got started. I, in fact, I heard that you've been singing and playing music since you were pretty young. Yeah, I mean, I guess I've always sung, especially, and I've been playing, um, you know, like guitar and piano um, since I was really little. I sang all throughout school and did all the choirs and everything. Um, and then when I was 18, I joined a band in Brisbane. And I'm still playing with them a bit. Um, so, yeah, I've really been, I guess, playing in bands for years, um, but I know that, yeah, it's, Hatchie was definitely my introduction for a lot of people, which is, it's weird from my perspective, but I get it, you know. So songwriting, is it new for you? You've been working on this for a while, and it sounds like you also went to school for music. Uh, sounds, a lot of that was business related. Has that been helping you kind of forge your way forward? Um, honestly, not really. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, it taught me a lot of things, but I guess I think the best experience um, is just being in a band and doing it rather than learning about it. You know, there's nothing like it and it's kind of hard to teach that experience to other people. Do you think that it's helpful for a band to have uh, like a manager and a label and people supporting them so that they can focus on the music? I think it's helpful but not necessary. There are heaps of bands that go by without any of those things and I think that's really great. Um, but it's definitely helped us. I think it's what really made the last year what it was. Um, I could not have done most of this without any support. Um, yeah. We've been loving these songs. The CP came out um, in the late spring, just before the summer. And some of the bands that you cite in interviews that you love are some of my favorite bands as well, mm -hmm. like Wolf Alice, uh, Lush. You've said Cocteau Twins are one of your favorite bands of all time. And it sounds like you've been experimenting with some of the sounds of those bands. And 
are you, as you write more music, are you heading in different directions or what? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely looking that way um, as I've started recording my album in the last couple of weeks, um, which is exciting because I don't, I don't want to corner myself um, at all. So I've been trying out a lot of different sounds and a lot of different, I guess, writing methods. And um, yeah, it's, it's early days for the recordings, but um, it's been really exciting trying new things out and yeah, taking from different influences and everything. And is that something that you do yourself? Is that a solitary process? I mean, yeah, it might be a good time to introduce your band yeah. and talk about them. Yeah, sure. So usually I start writing the writing process by myself and then actually Joe on acoustic guitar jumps in um, to help me finish off demos and he comes to the studio with me and does that whole process with me because he's really good at the production side of everything and he's helped me write a couple of the songs as well. Um, and then when I tour, I've got these other two with me as well. Obviously, I've got Patty on electric guitar and Richie on drums. Well, you all sound wonderful together tonight. You're playing at Barbosa, yes. and you've lived in Brisbane your whole life. Mm -hmm. um, I, I hear that it feels like a small city, but it's the third uh, most populous city in Australia, and, and it's much more populous than Seattle. Tell me yeah, what it's wow. like there and what the music scene. Um, the music scene is, um, I guess, it's kind of the same where I, I would think it's quite small, but there's you know quite a lot of people in it, and it's... It's kind of all centered around the valley in Brisbane where all the venues are where everyone plays gigs. Um, but there's a, yeah, I don't know, there's heaps of people. There's lots of different little scenes like punk scenes and, you know, more guitar stuff and more pop stuff and it all kind of overlaps. Um, but, yeah, I guess I feel a little bit detached from it at the moment. Because um, you've been on the road? So I guess, <laughs> yeah, I guess a little bit. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't been playing in Brisbane that much lately, but it's a really supportive community. Is it a place where young bands without a lot of experience can kind of cut their teeth in the live environment? Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, I know I went through that at playing gigs um, to 10 people for years. Um, there's, yeah, it's a really good environment for new bands. I was in Melbourne and Sydney um, last November and December and got a chance to go out to a lot of the clubs there and was surprised how many people are coming out to shows seven days a week. I mean, it really seems like people are going out and seeing music. I mean, you say everyone has played a show to just yeah. 10 people if you're yeah. a musician, but do you feel like people are going out and seeing music there? Well, I mean, there's a lot of things going on with um, venues closing down in Australia. It's a big deal that everyone's kind of working through at the moment. But, um, yeah, there's definitely still a very vibrant music scene and um, it kind of changes in every year and it's been interesting to watch it grow and kind of everybody get over those, you know, venue cl closures and everything. Um, yeah, it's ever-changing. Yeah, sadly I hear that story yeah. everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. Well, it's wonderful to have you here. Hatchie is live on the KEXP Airwaves today. Again, tonight playing at Barboza in Seattle. Want a couple more songs? Yeah, that's
In the KEXP studios, it's Hatchy and the EP called Sugar and Spice. Thank you all so much for coming in today. Thank you for having us. Playing tonight at Barboza, tomorrow night at the Doug Fur in Portland. Have a wonderful time on tour. Thank you. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.